Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. This time we have Sands of Time. The mod is also known as the Way of the Dovahkiin Ultimate Deadly Encounters. And as you can probably guess, the mod aims to make Skyrim more exciting and challenging with the addition of new random combat encounters. The mod was released last year and has since been updated several times. It's also a huge mod with a vast amount of features, but as always we'll keep it concise and to the point. The mod separates the new encounters into several different types of activities in Skyrim. They include sleeping, waiting, fast travelling and exploring. So when you do any of those activities there's a chance you'll experience a random encounter. What's great about the mod is that although the encounters are random, the types of encounters have been well thought out. So when you're travelling near a swamp you'll be ambushed by spiders and other swamp creatures and when you're waiting in a dungeon you'll be ambushed by draugas, and so on. So it all makes sense and you'll never experience an encounter that's weird or out of place. The chance of an encounter is also separated for each of the different activities. Basically the mod is smart and knows when an encounter should happen and what type of enemy should be spawned. So sleeping in a dungeon is obviously more dangerous than sleeping in your own home and the encounters will happen accordingly. Generally speaking, sleeping puts you at the highest risk, then fast travelling, then waiting and finally exploring. The types of encounters that happen when exploring varies and certain enemies will roam around at different times of the day. For example, you'll find vampires are more common after midnight, whereas bandits and other groups mainly roam during the day. The mod also enhances existing encounters with a new cloning feature. So instead of finding a single Draugr in each room like you can in the vanilla game, the mod will randomly spawn extra types of the same enemy, so sometimes you could find yourself fighting three of an enemy when there's usually only one. If you happen to be ambushed when you're asleep, waiting or fast travelling, then you'll be interrupted with a pop-up window letting you know what types of enemies have ambushed you. Once again there's a variety of different enemies that can ambush you, including special encounters that include unique enemies. Special encounters are rare, but if they do happen you'll have to face a new type of enemy. For example, you could face a boss of a specific group, like the leader of a group of vigilants of Stendar. You could also bump into some highwaymen that demand payment, or some desperate refugees that are fighting for their survival. Another great feature is that the mod takes your character's choices into account and reacts appropriately. So for example, if you've chosen to join the Stormcloak Rebellion, then you might be ambushed by Imperial soldiers when fast travelling. And if you're a vampire or other mythical beasts, then you'll be ambushed by groups that specialise in hunting them. With the mod installed, encounters are quite common, so to help keep them interesting and diverse, the author has included a variety of features, including new types of undead enemies, as well as using armour and weapons from other mods. However, if you'd prefer to keep it as law friendly as possible, then you can easily toggle nearly all of the features on or off. The mod menu is huge and includes absolutely everything you'd need to customise the mod. So if you don't want to be bothered when sleeping, you can turn that off. You can also change the rate of encounters for each of the activities. There's plenty of other smaller features for the mod, including mini games that give you more loot after an encounter, new healing companions that you can find at inns, and there's also now consequences for any immoral crimes you commit. On top of the unique encounters we mentioned earlier, the mod also adds a new boss called Burning Inferno that'll avenge any innocent person's death that died by your hand. It's an interesting feature, but it's totally optional and can be disabled if that's not something you're interested in. Over the past year the author's added a variety of features as well as adding compatibility for other mods like Organised Bandits in Skyrim. Generally speaking you shouldn't have any compatibility issues and everything should run fine, just keep in mind that if you have multiple enemy or encounter mods then they'll stack. Overall Sands of Time is a well thought out and well executed combat mod. It helps keep Draugr filled dungeons interesting as well as keeping you on your toes when exploring the world of Skyrim. So if you feel like you're not being challenged enough, then we definitely recommend you give it a go alongside some of the combat AI mods we've covered recently. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, and thanks for watching.